Hi YouTube, it's CJ and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about uh, a stencil. This is one in which <clears throat> to do some printmaking I decided to go ahead and draw and then cut out these arrows. I've actually got a uh, swap going in which we're going to use arrows. So. Um, this is something that you can do actually for any kind of swap. And you can see how I've cut that out. And I'm going to show you what I did with this. Real super easy project. Now this is just paper that I'm using. And since I'm not going to use it over and over many, many, many times, I think it's okay just to use the paper. Now what I could do is go ahead and spray this with a clear acrylic like uh, Krylon and it may last a while longer. Okay, so what I did with this process was I just have these daubers, but you could use anything. You could use uh, your paint on uh, the makeup sponges and that will work just fine. But with these daubers like this, and I don't even know where I got these. It may have been something that I got in a swamp. I can't remember. Because they would not normally go out and buy something like this. Um, they are neat. They're kind of fun to use. But, you know, I watch, I watch my pennies. I don't just buy the newest and greatest thing out there. Okay, so what I did was I went over the top like this. And then I have this other piece, and I'm, this is a wipe off that I'm going to use for something else. And I just put that on there to kind of pick up some of the extra paint, like so. Okay, and you can see it's building up on there real nice. Alright, I'm going to try and line this back up a little bit here just a second. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to take my next color, and I'm, I'm just patting on there. Now you do have to be careful with certain colors. You get certain colors together, and they're going to turn a real muddy brown. So, as I'm going through here, I am trying to hit some areas that basically do not have paint on them. And that will help that problem of things turning brown. Okay, we're just about done with this one. Okay, and I'm going to wipe it off again. Just like so. And this wipe off sheet, I have another plan for it. So, okay, I'm going to line it up again. And I'm going to go one more color. And this is where you do have to be careful. You get that third color in there, and it really can change to a brown. So I'm trying to be kind of careful on that. And we're just almost done with this, so bear with me. And this is a sheet that I'm sending to some people that they can go ahead and cut it up or use it in any way they want to. But basically, I would say this is kind of fun. Tap, 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 tapping. Hope you don't mind the tapping. Hope it makes you want to go out and do some printmaking. Okay, we're just about there. Bear with me just a moment more. Okay, so this point, well, let me go ahead and wipe this off again. Now I did a bunch of these. I did probably, I want to say about, uh, well, it was either 10 or 12, and you can see this paper. And that's all it is, it's just, uh, it's a heavier type of paper, like a cardstock, and it's held up pretty well. Okay, so now at this point, this is what I have. Okay. Now I can go back in there. I can put my 
stencil back on there and get this darker if I want to, but just for the sake of showing you what's going on, I'm going to leave that for now and show you one that's already dry, already done. Here we go with this one. Okay. And like I said, I think I made, oh gosh, either 12, 10 or 12 of these. Okay. And then I thought, well, what could I do more with it? What I'm going to do is send to my partners a sheet that looks like this. Okay. And then I'm going to let them decide what it is they want to do with it. So the first thing I did was I kind of outlined, and I thought, well, that's okay, but I want to try and do something else in there. Okay, and then I took that outline, and I put some designs in there. <coughs> and I really, I kind of like this one here. I think I'm going to leave the background just light in this case, so that, you know, I can change my mind later on and add some color if I want to, but right now I don't have a purpose for it. So, anyway, that was the project that I was working on this morning. I thought I would share it with you. Uh, it's just another way of creating a print, and I hope you give it a try. Lots of fun. Chat with you later. Bye-bye.